What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Broken Elbow Darius here, starting a new show. Very, very excited. This one is called Zom 100 Bucket List of the Dead. Now, I watched the trailer a couple of days ago because my friend told me to, and I was like, wow, this looks super interesting. I'm very intrigued by the concept. I love it. I also heard there's a live action coming out for it. But besides the point, if you guys don't know what the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on this channel, the full length version, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. Click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you did enjoy that format and want to maybe keep it for the future, check out that Patreon. We got early access, that full length versions. We have exclusive reactions, the polls you guys can vote for me to watch what's next, all that jazz. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Let's hop right on into the first episode. This one is called Akira of the Dead. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Immediately starting out with like a really cool POV first person shot. You get to watch someone live turn into a zombie. I won't lie, the, the 3D models and the cinematography so far and the animation is looking amazing so far. Memento Mori, what does that mean? It means something with the dead, right? Oh my god. Whenever it's any zombie piece of media, is it like Walking Dead zombies or like World War Z zombies? These are much more like World War Z zombies, which no thank you. Okay, it's our character watching a show eating ramen instead of intestines. I like that. That's how bad his work life is. He said that, that would be heaven compared to going to the office. Oh my god. God. He's looking like Togashi, creator of Hunter Hunter, three years ago. Oh, see the saturation's already insanely up. Way more colorful. Production department, okay. Akira Tendo. Uh oh. my first day out here oh my lordy missy first day at work at a dream job he, he loves and he he's a baddie within the first 10 minutes talk about a first episode sayori okay from accounting Ooh, hello miss sayori already telling us our, her desk spot and everything Dang, Akira's got that first day riz. Got to get some after work drinks with the co-workers, you know. Got to get to know each other a little more. We've all been there. I know it's a huge thing in uh, Japanese and Korean culture, too. Rugby, okay. That'll definitely help some athleticism. I'm telling you, the animation looks phenomenal. The way they turn into IRL zombies when they just put their name badge back on. Oh, they left dinner to go back to the office instead of going home. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they're like, why? If I pull an all-nighter on my first day of work and sleep at the office, I don't want to pause it real quick because we're in the flow, got some momentum going. But guys, if I've heard horror stories of what it's like when whether you're in an editing production company, whether you're an animator and crunch or a video game developer, and crunch time is you have to work like 16-hour workdays, like. All I know, guys, if you guys are in one of those situations where you have a nine to five and it's not a nine, it's like a, a nine to nine, have something to decompress that stress. I cannot imagine. Two days later, he didn't go back home. I would have already had a stroke and died, I swear to God. I would literally, before I even hit the bed, be asleep. And just like that, you blink and you're back at work. The beginning of the episode is making a lot more sense. A lot more sense now. Him living in that quarters of a house situation, you know. You have to remotivate yourself, repump your. No, man. I feel so bad. This is how people 
who get into industries like this who are super excited just get slowly broken down and broken down, you know? Another day, another ulcer. The fact that he's hoping for that just says everything in and of itself. Well, I appreciate you, Sayori, but how are you still the way you are? Do you not work all nighters? I mean, she's in the accounting department, not production, you know. Oh, this is <laughs> horrible. That, I am a little flabbergasted at the work conditions of this place. Oh. I don't know. I am I don't I'm not one of those dark, cynical kind of people, but I don't know what would be going on in my mind, you know. Is he gonna try to walk in front of a moving train? No, I I wasn't gonna say anything like that, but I'm not one to advocate for I'm just saying. I would definitely be thinking about it. This is fucking horrible. Back to where we started. Which, like I said, is making a lot more sense now. I do know, like, literally, like, lack of sleep and certain mental frust exhaustions can really low-key actually make you hallucinate and start seeing delusions. I'm not joking. Is he not walking in blood right now? Honestly, he's so out of it and mentally exhausted that there could be actually zombies right now he probably wouldn't notice. Oh yeah, that's some real deal zombie action. Oh, I love how the color's finally coming in and it's switched. It went from a normal saturation, now black and white, except for red, blue, and green. And these are not the walking... These are not the walking dead zombies. These zombies are active. See, everything's black and white except for, like, the deep colors. I'm loving the camera work right now. Cinematography. Ooh, is that an airplane going by? I love the way they're doing these colors. That is a falling airplane. That airplane is going to crash and burn and die. That is with the with the shots right now and the explosions. This is super cool that yeah, you don't have to go back to work. Yeah, the way he vanishes out of his work uniform, his clothes. Oh, the transitions are so clean in this. I'm telling you as he eats his fucking name tag. We're going out of the fucking solar system. Okay, Assassin's Creed. Trust fall. Bro, I am loving the animation of this right now. Okay, underslide. That was clean. He did say he was athletic. That rugby coming in handy. Monochrome. That's why it was literally saturated like that. And I love how we're running past TV monitors that are showing like our past, you know? Now we can see blue skies, green trees, bright red. It is very saturated right now. I'm loving it. I love the way they did that visual storytelling. Literally. This is so interesting. I, I, I love zombie pieces of media, but it's such an interesting concept. It's a zombie show where your main focus is not the zombies. It's that just giving us free time and clearing our bucket list. Like that is a concept like you, you hate. Normally it's... You love your human world, you love your human life, and the zombie apocalypse is what ruins it. This one is he hates it so much, and the zombie apocalypse is what frees him. I love that inverse. No, oh, he's thinking about everyone's dead. Theory most definitely is dead, sadly. I would hope she's okay, but... The fact that he only has one sock on just shows how fucked up, how mentally drained he is, you know? I mean, he looks swaggy on that bike, Moomin Rider style, but he does need to get a motorcycle. That'd be swaggy. All right, that's our new goal. See if Sayori's alive. Go secure us our office shorty. You know what I'm saying? Because like Gojo should be on top of that, you know? I'm hoping she's alive. She could be the waifu of the show. And I would be down. She's going to be getting her booty ate by a zombie. Oh, those are some male shoes. Oh, the boss man is a zombie. 
He's a fucking boomer from Left 4 Dead. Literally. But I quit. Gotta take the tie off. Even more formal, he's resigning. Not the straight football tackle. What sort of animation? What sort of demon slayer? Go beyond and surpass your ultra limits? What the hell? Was that his rugby experience coming in play? This show. She is a sexified zombie. I'm upset. You hate to see it. You sexy zombie, you. You hate for your main character got to kill his wife in episode one. Oh, wow. Look at her. Get one last fleeting moment of her. Bro, the animation of this show goes crazy. We're not even going to kill her. I own Nara, Sayori. Hopefully you find a cure. Bring your sexy ass back. He's spitting facts right now. We could die tomorrow. We could die a hundred years. We'll never have enough time to do everything we want. He's gonna clear his bucket list. Yeah, hell yeah. Start shopping. Whatever you want, man. Oh, uh, he's literally making his bucket list. One hundred things I want to do before I don't even before I die. I assume it said. That was a really good first episode. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that. Talk about an introduction episode, Akira of the Dead. Our main character is Akira Tendo, and he worked at a commercial production company, and oh my lord, did that show me how life can be hell for one of these exploitive corporations, like he said, but oh, that was, I was stressed just watching that. Can't even lie to you. I am very thankful that I have the job I do, being able to talk to you guys, but Shout out him being able to do everything on his bucket. I'm looking at the thumbnail image for like the show itself. There's like a flying shark. How the fuck is this going to happen? But great episode. Absolutely fantastic visual storytelling. Like I love the monochrome without even me realizing it, even though I did. But and then the amount of saturation change to show his level of depression or investment in the world, you know? And then Sayori, great woman. And then the zombies, I love the designs. I love like the colorful blood splatter. I love that their blood is blue versus his red, you know, like it's a lot of the creative decisions that, especially artistic wise, that I'm really enjoying, whether it's the first person shots, whether it's whatever I'm, I can already tell this show is about to be really good. They're really excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this, like I did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Like I said, check out that Patreon if you guys want early access, exclusives, uncuts, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.